So I did my homework like I always do. You guys share the stage with Santana, Loggins and Messina, Boz Skaggs, Peter Frampton, uh, Cheech and Chong. Yeah. There's some memories fact, there. They, when or we maybe played not. In, we played in Detroit, they thought we were Cheech and Chong when we came up. <laughs> well, we should explain. Back then, you guys had, you know, the long, the long hair, hair, the big beards, yeah. And cetera. dark skin, and, you know, so. It, the, Columbia, we were at Columbia Records, so they kind of had a kind of challenging time to try to figure out how to market us because right. uh, uh, we were so different and we were playing, we weren't playing Hawaiian music, we were playing, you know, music about our islands, you know. Right. You know, so, you know, it was, uh, things have changed since then. Sure. You know, but it was, you know, challenging, it was fun. Yeah. And, um, it's good to be here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so Laguna, again, if you're listening, and I know you are, I want you to tweet <coughs> friends. I want you to wake up your neighbors. Um, Henry, let's start, if you want, with maybe one of your songs. I was thinking Highway in the Sun, which is one of my favorites. Are you right. up for that? Yeah. That sounds good. And we tuned the ta- guitar earlier, so we should be in tune right now. I think we are. Okay. <laughs> this is a song I wrote here in California when I was traveling oh. up from... Uh, we were traveling from L.A. to San Francisco, and there was, um, between um, Ventura and Santa Barbara, there's that coastline uh, on Highway 101. So I know it well. actually started off as uh, called Highway 101, and then I changed it to Highway in the Sun. But, um, you know, during the spring, there's those hills on the side that um, uh, it was springtime, and we were traveling, and a friend of mine, or actually our road manager, was from L.A., and I said, well, those are beautiful flowers up there. And he goes, uh, those aren't flowers, those are weeds. Go, oh, really? So, uh, and they were actually mustard weeds. So, and I think you used that line in your song, yeah, don't you? So, yeah. Have you ever seen a yellow mustard mountain? When California sun shines in the sky. Have you ever seen it dancing softly in the wind? Painted nice. There's a happy kind of feeling when the sun's out. Rainbow colored countryside can all be seen. Mother Nature, you are beautiful, you are the song. Everybody, you should see it. You got to feel it when you're riding down the highway in the sun. Everybody, you should see it. You got to feel it when you're riding down the highway in the sun. Refreshing feeling that I get in the springtime when the flowers are in bloom. It is something to me that I can't forget, and it's there for you. Everybody, you should see it. You got to feel it when you're riding down the highway. Everybody, you should see it. You got to feel it when you're riding down the highway in the sun. Everybody, you should see it. You got to feel it when you're riding down the highway in the sun. Beautiful. How, how would how, how would you say your culture has influenced your music? Uh, well, I grew up listening to Hawaiian music because that's all that we had in the house. My parents played that all the time. Mm-hmm. And then, um, now when you say Hawaiian music, though, listening, what would you have listened to back then? Do you recall uh, traditional Hawaiian? Okay, you know, gotcha. Um, but but then I you know. When I'm in the car or when in different situations, I would listen to a, 
um, you know, rock and roll, and that, mm -hmm. that's what I loved. You know, mm -hmm. you know that really influenced me. So, I, you know, being pure Hawaiian, you know, a lot of people expect me to, you know, be more traditional and play mm -hmm. more traditional stuff. But I just loved uh, um, what I was hearing, you know, mm -hmm. all those great bands back then. And, mm -hmm. And that was my biggest influence. You know, uh, C&K, of course, <laughs> very popular. Uh, I don't know how many albums you guys ultimately put out, but I remember at least the first three or four that came out. And then you made a transition into a solo career. Now, you guys were a duo on stage sharing the spotlight, but you were sort of, as I recall, reserved a little bit. And yeah. Would that be a fair statement? Yeah, I didn't do much of the talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but once you transition, how difficult, I guess my question, how difficult was that transition to a solo career where now you're front and center having to do everything? Uh, <coughs> it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't so bad. Okay. You know, I, I had to make some changes, you know, because um, uh, CNK fans were total CNK fans. Right. So if, where, wherever I played... All they wanted was CNK, you uh -huh. know. So you know, to try and get my own identity, I, I would I had to try and find a whole new audience. So that little search would, took a little time, but um, eventually it, it grew and it built, yeah. and, and um, people were able to to um, you know listen to what I was trying to um, write and sing about as well as the, the old stuff, you Good. know, the yeah. CNK stuff. So. Very nice. Let's transition to uh, one more song before we take a break, and uh, a song of your choice. And I, and I like that you <coughs> sort of shared how you were inspired to write Highway in the Sun. Uh -huh. So if you got a little backstory on the next song you're going to play, I'd, I'd love to hear it. All right. Well, being so close to the ocean, uh, this is a song that I wrote for my dad. My dad was a big influence in my life, and... Um, uh, so I always wanted to write a song f for him. Mm -hmm. um, I used to love that song, Bojangles, and mm -hmm. how he talked about a, a man. And, and so um, one day I s went sailing, and um, it was a beautiful day. In fact, it was a perfect day. It's probably the only time I'll go out sailing. <laughs> <coughs> and um, it, I just, it just hit me, you know, the, um, the song did. And when I went home, I started writing this song. And, uh, so I would say my dad never sailed in his life. I never called him Jackson, but he was, I was the captain of the ship. Very nice. He was a great captain. He was captain of a small ship. And he called her the queen. And Jackson was an old man. The skipper of See, he dreams about one day, and I lean your fire. I lost in the ocean, just passing. And he'd rather be sailing, sailing away. And he'd rather be sailing, sailing away. And he. Quite well, but those are just traces of stories to tell. And he loves his lady, and his whiskey is sweet. Sailors is 
first love It keeps us so free And he rather say Say I'm David Wilhelm, and this is Jimmy's Famous American Tavern. Jimmy's has been called a casual comeback for me. I think that's because most of the restaurants that I developed in the past were white tablecloth, upper-end restaurants. Jimmy's was designed as a place for friends and families to gather and enjoy regional American comfort food in a casual setting. Jimmy's Famous American Tavern. Simple and traditional. One of the things I wanted to transition to was you did a, uh, a headliner show with Michael McDonald from the Doobie Brothers yeah. for, the, for the Dalai Lama. I'm wondering how that came about and what that concert was yeah, like. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, that was um, pretty amazing to be asked to, to play for that. And then, totally. You know, Michael and I have done a, a bunch of stuff together. We do conventions together. Really? Uh, yeah. Is it because your your vocals blend well? You, I mean, I, um, or why, well, why we, the two? We've of had you? a friendship for a long time. Got you. And um, and we did a we did a concert in, in Hawaii and on the Big Island, and a bunch of people had seen it, and um, then they started hiring us as a. You know, oh. and, but what it is is kind of like I go up and I play. Nobody really, you know, in conventions they're from all over the world. Right. So you know, a lot of the people don't know who I am. You know, uh, and then. Um, and then I introduced Michael, and then and everything kind of like opens. Bring up. on the Doobie Brothers! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a great guy, you Is know. He? And uh, yeah, we were asked to play for the Dalai Lama, and um, he and I were sitting down figuring out, well, what are we going to play? You know, yeah. this is quite a, a, an amazing opportunity, and we got to you know really pick the right the right song, and um, so we sat down. And I went through some songs. He went through some songs. Then he said, you know what? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was playing with uh, jamming with Stevie Wonder. I go, what Stevie Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> he means this. He goes, yeah. And then Stevie started playing this song, and I went, wow, where was I? 
<laughs> Michael. But uh, anyway, he said, um, so he started playing the song, and I went, oh, yeah, that's a perfect song. It is um, actually a song. I'll play a little bit of that it. That sounds good. Because everybody knows this song. It's a perfect song for yeah. what, though? For the concert that you did? or For that, or whole, for... that whole moment. You okay, know? cool. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. That's the only thing. That there's just too little love What the world needs now Is love, sweet love No, not just for some But for everyone That's a beautiful right song, yeah. 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 And you sing it so well. Do you two sing it together? You and Michael McDonald, or yeah, we did. Oh, you did. Yeah, oh we man, I would... worked uh, worked out an arrangement and both sang it together. That and, sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. When you play for the Dalai Lama, is it is it just the Dalai Lama, or is it a concert? There, in well, it was a, uh, a concert. He was there for uh, you know to do his um, um, uh, talk, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to the people, mm -hmm. and it was in a big um, concert hall. Oh wow! And um, he he was there and sitting down and listening and. Actually, he was backstage listening, and then when we started singing, he came out and just started, you know, standing there and listening to us. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah, With a big smile. moving moment. I'm sure it was, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's like when you sing, I just feel like I want to come over and give you a big hug. There's something <laughs> about it. I mean, that's, that's how I feel. Um, okay, you also did a uh, performance of I'm Coming Home concert uh, for returning troops. This was right. Pro Bowl 2013 halftime show. Talk to me a little bit about that experience. Uh, it was it was amazing, you know. Uh, I've been having some pretty amazing uh, ex experience. I do a lot of stuff with for the military because mm -hmm. I have had the experience and right. and I know how much they appreciate it and how much you know we appreciate what they do. And um, so actually, a friend of mine was um, going to Iraq and um, he he said uh, he had met a girl in San Diego. And he, we kept emailing each other, and he kept talking about her. Said how much he um, feels like this is the one, and when he gets back, he's gonna ask her to marry him. You know, so he's you know he said if he ever gets back, he's gonna do that. And he made it back two years later, and um, called me not too long after he got back and said I'm getting married. Hmm. So, I, so I thought it was a really neat little story. <coughs> so I wrote the song uh, I'm Coming Home. Hello, baby, I'm coming home I'm waiting for my plane Been waiting for this day Tonight, we'll both be all alone I'll hold you in my arms And never let you go I'm coming home I'm coming home I'm coming home I kept the rose you sent with me I looked at it every day It got me through it all Always on my mind I hope and pray that time Would bring us back again I'm coming home I'm coming home I'm coming home It's been a long, long Kept my hopes up high. I knew when we first met that you would be my wife, the mother of our child. Today, 
It's not just any day It's forevermore This I promise you I'm coming home I'm coming home I'm coming home I'm coming home Beautiful. Woo! Henry Capono, I'm coming home. <coughs> Ren, you, you've written a children's book, right? Yes, I have. You want to talk a little bit about the children's book and what that, I mean, how did you yeah. come from being how a musician? How did that come to Yeah. To uh, well, you know, when you have kids, you know, kids are very inspirational. If you kind of like just let them be who they are and let them influence your life. And um, my daughters, we used to um, make up stories and, you know, we'd, before I put them to bed, We'd tell the story and uh, we'd make it all up, make all the names up, and and so um, so they really taught me about recycling and all this, uh, um, you know, these things that we need to do for the planet, and um, so that story kind of incorporated uh, keeping, taking care of our our land, you know, our islands. Yeah. So they they were the big influence on. What's on what's that. the title of the uh, children's? It's called a, a beautiful Hawaiian day. Well, that sounds like a beautiful children's story. Yeah, nice. let's uh, let's transition into another song. Uh, your a song, your choice. Whether you want to do. Um, well, since we're talking about my kids. Okay. Uh, just on the road to my kids, I have um, six-year-old twins, a uh, boy and a girl. And I was watching my son. I was watching them play one day, and uh, my son was playing with his uh, train set, and he. Um, <clears throat> He kept f trying to figure out, you know, what it was and how it worked and all that stuff. And then I turned around for a little while, and when I turned back, he had it all apart. <laughs> and I went, "Oh yeah, I used to do that." So um, I picked up my guitar and sat right by him and started writing this song called "Dreams." And uh, it's really about, you know, we all have dreams, and um, we get from one place to, the, to another. You know, we start as a child. Nice. When I was a boy, I played with trains, cars and planes. I loved my toys. I closed my eyes and I'd fly. I'd watch the earth passing by. I believe. I believe in my soul I believe in myself In dreams When I was a teen I went to school I learned all the rules Something inside burned like a flame. I knew what it was, I knew it by name. I believe in my heart, I believe in my soul, I believe. Living my dreams, I 
got a beautiful wife and beautiful kids and I watch them play with their toys it reminds me of when I was a boy I believe I believe in my soul I believe in myself And dreams, dreams, Henry, very nice, very nice, beautiful. Um, we have about two or three minutes to take us away. Any particular thing you want to end us with? It's sort of upbeat and fun. And well, this goes out to everybody, all my friends here and all over the world, in California, and all of you folks here too. It's so nice to see familiar faces out in the crowd. It's so nice to see friends of mine and enjoying themselves. Everybody get happy Cause we can work it out We are friends Friends, friends We are friends Friends, friends And I remember when I was down and out You came I remember when I was friends hey, What's your name? And getting off on each other We can work it out We are friends Friends, friends We are friends Friends, friends And feelings are getting strong You feel like you belong Closeness you can feel The smiles that are real We are friends and If you feel like singing with me Sing out loud It'll make you feel good just to sing right out And be a part of it all Cause we can work it out We are friends Friends, friends We are friends Friends, friends We are friends, everybody's friends Friends, friends Friends, friends. Beautiful. I love that. <laughs> Henry. Song for the friendship show. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Henry Capono, everybody. Thank you so much, Henry, for Thank coming you, in. It was Thank just, you, everybody. I just yeah. felt so honored that you uh, stopped by and shared your time with us today. Uh, Thank you pleasure. so much. Yeah. You've been listening to KX93.5 FM, Laguna's only community supported radio. I'm Scott Hayes. <laughs>